Are you ready to find out what the best Stag Junior is? I know I am. Let's find out. What's going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker bringing you guys round two, the finals of this Stag Madness that Doc over at Old Fashioned Ways thought up in his crazy head. If you have not watched round number one on my channel or the other corresponding channels, the link down below will be for everybody's channel. That will be Bourbon Real Talk, those bourbon guys, and then Doc over at Old Fashioned Ways. Make sure you go check out episode one that was released by every single channel to see which out of everybody's original batches that they received was their favorite to come up with this round number two. So you guys know that I picked my favorite and it is now mixed in between one of these four corresponding symbols. I have absolutely no idea which was my favorite. They have absolutely no idea what their favorite is, but we're gonna find out which one of these four is my absolute favorite. To find out what the absolute winner is, Doc over on his channel is going to tally up the winners and see which batch got the most votes for number one, two, three, and four. So without further ado, we're gonna start on our left here and we're gonna find out which of these stags comes out on top. Starting here on our left. This one has a very strong cherry aspect to it right off of the bat. Touch of brown sugar. Almost has a raisin quality to it as well. Get a nice light sugar on there too. Very sweet. Let's get in the pal. That one's dark and fruity. It's very dark. It's like a dark brown sugar. There's a touch of a maple syrup in there, but then it has this lingering fruitiness to it as well. There's plums, grapes, dark sugar. Really, really nice. Let's get into glass number two here. See if this one is any better. Number two has a little bit more of an orange citrusiness to it. It's a little bit warmer and brighter, but then it has this toastiness to it as well. It has a little bit more of an oak presence. It's warmer, it's definitely warmer. It's definitely a little bit brighter where this one was a little bit darker. Let's get into the palette. That one's a little bit more on that bright vanilla. It's warm, gives you that hug going down. But that's really what it is. It's warm, it's got that vanilla, it's sweet, but it's a little hotter than the one on the left. This one here drinks quite a bit hotter. Hmm. I wonder which one that is. As you all know, you will know what these are. I do not. Let's get into glass three. Glass three has a little bit of a banana, but it also smells like it's a little bit earthier and floral, but then it has this lingering sweetness on the tail end. Get a little touch of a butterscotch as well on that. So far, all three of these have been completely different on the nose, and we're gonna find out if this one's completely different on the palate than the first two. That's very nice. That has a chocolatey aspect to it. It's, it's warm. Don't get me wrong, it's warm. Ooh, that finish is really nice. It's almost like a cherry cola finish. That's interesting, I like that a lot. That finish is fantastic. That's, that's really nice. I like this one a little bit more than number two, but I don't know if I like it as much as number one at the moment. So, without further ado, let's get into glass number four. Glass number four smells like root beer almost. Maybe a little root beer and cream soda. Almost has a licorice too on, on there as well. But then there's that backbone of cherry. It's a hot one. Not really finding any residual sugars or anything like super, super sweet coming off of this. This one is very dark, earthy, floral. Let's get into the palate. That is so different, so different. That's, that's beautiful. It's dark. It has this plum aspect to it. It has a touch of apricot. It's nutty, but not like peanuts, like pecan or a little bit of a walnut in there, but like a candy walnut that is so nice this is so difficult first go through i think one and three are my favorites four is in that like two is four is in that third range and number two is probably number four but we're gonna go through this one more time fast forward through this and we're gonna find out which one of these stags is number one okay so I have it narrowed down to these two glasses right here. Going back and forth, these two right here, after sipping it and enjoying these for quite a while, these two, the finish is very hot. Going back and forth with these two, 
where these two right here going back and forth the finish is sweet it's very very pleasant it's enjoyable whereas this just it lingers off and it just has that hot ethanol burn that obviously we enjoy but these are just so much more enjoyable so i'm going to find out i have to fill these up a little bit more so i'm going to find out what their letters are and then we're going to go back and forth with these two to find out which one out of these two is my absolute favorite so this one here is the at symbol like i said i have absolutely no idea what these are so it really doesn't matter that this was completely blind so we're going to find out here what this one here is. This is the hashtag. So whoever picked the at the hashtag, doing fantastic. These are two great, great bottles. These two over here, we'll find out in a little bit. But going back and forth with these two, this one is opening up to have this like very nice maple. This is great. This one, it's a little bit more fruity, right? I, I don't know on the nose if I could pick a favorite on the nose. But going into the palette on this one again, We have our order, and I think we're gonna find out what number four is right now. Number four goes to the percentage sign. So that's this one right here. You will know what batch that is. This one here is the exclamation point right here. You guys will know which one that is. Falling in second place here, we have the at symbol, which is this one right here. And like I've been saying, you will know what batch that is. And our winner, my pick for the best stag junior goes to the hashtag. Not a clue what that is. I will find out here soon, but you will know right here on the screen what my number one stag junior batch is. Guys, make sure you go check out Old Fashioned Ways. His channel is linked down below to find out what the tally of the number one stag junior is. Also, go check out those bourbon guys. They have been doing fantastic stuff. They have a really, really fun channel. They do awesome, awesome uploads, but also the Stag Junior Battle to find out what their number one is, go click the link down below and also go click the link down below to the Bourbon Real Talk channel. If you haven't heard about it, fantastic. Also join their Facebook group, fantastic people over there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This has been an absolute blast, but I can't thank you enough doc for asking me to be part of this because this was an absolute blast till next time this has been nathan with the everyday drinker cheers